டியர் சில்ட்ரன் குட் மார்னிங் தமிழ் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் செகண்ட் இயர் யூனிட் டூ பார்ட் ஒன் டிசைன் அண்ட் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் டெக்னாலஜி மேக்கிங் பிரிக்ஸ் இஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் இன் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் டெக்னாலஜி தமிழ் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் பிகம் மோர் ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் இவால்விங் இன்டு ஏ யூனிஃபைடு ஆர்ட் ஃபார்ம் dating thousands of years ago our ancient people created houses palaces commercial buildings public structures many of these structures made of perishable materials have been lost but religious architectures particularly temples has retained its prominence these intricate features of this architecture can be seen in india Sri Lanka, Maldives and other South Asian countries today. In ancient Tamil Nadu, a variety of materials such as burnt earth, wood, mud, bamboo, grass and bricks were used in construction. Bricks, making bricks, learning to make bricks is the first step in construction technology. Today, remnants of houses palaces commercial buildings and public structures can still be found in many places keeping witness to their existence in the past as techniques advanced as uh, techniques totally advanced black stones were used clay after dried and fired like a clean fired in a clean transformed into a solid and durable building materials and in building technology various trees also used various trees for various purposes among the three type of trees male trees were selected for making doors pillars and ornamental beams and female trees were suitable for constructing beams with a larger diameters decorative arches and porch bearing smaller and smaller architectural details and uh, all trees with their uh, smaller diameters were preferred for elements like fences actually ali trees were preferred for elements like fences and smaller and smaller architectural details these materials were used in palaces temples and mansions understand male trees for making doors and pillars and ornamental beams female trees for large diameter arches beams and porch bearing structure ali trees for making fences and small and small architectural details these materials were used in palaces temples and mansions lime was used with the woods in those day with the passage of time lime and turmeric were replaced by cement as a construction material similarly iron started to replace wooden sticks wooden pieces bamboo and fired bricks are the material for robust strong buildings besides houses and palaces stalls were built the foundation and uh, small buildings were constructed by using bricks and uh, the foundations walls and roofs are the main construction term in tamil architecture the professional engineers might not have been available during that era the builders still managed to build structures that could withstand the test of time the important structures are strong foundation walls constructed to separate the interior spaces into interior spaces into separate 
compartments of rooms, tall gobram tower in temples in significant height and dimension typically featuring uh, multiple tyres. Windows for ventilation, sky canopies, tall buildings are created by uh, stacking multiple floors. Construction on rocks. In Pallava period only, there are three distinct types emerged Kodavari Kovil, Katali, and the construction of temples. They showcase the Pallava dynasty's unique approach in architectural design during that period. Umbrella temples. Temples constructed on large hills in the slope are often referred to as umbrella temples. Large rocks were excavated and used in the construction process. The talented Tamilians tested the strength of the stones using a unique technique for assessing their durability and suitability for building purposes. Their meticulous approach aimed to create strong and long living structures. So this will be continued as a second part. In the second part, I will be going to tell all temple construction, Mahabalamaram sculptures and temples by Pallava kings, beach temple, three temples for Sivan, two temples for Vishnu and temple for Brahma, statue of Sakti, Mahisasura Mardini and five chariots for Panjabandavas, rock sculptures, Panjaradam for Pandavas and Archanan's meditation statue, 43 feet height, statue of King Bhagiradhan, efforts for bringing Ganges to earth, temples of Cholas, Tanjur temple by Cholas, Rajendra Sola and uh, Rajaraja Solan, Rajendra Solan constructed Gangigunda Solaburam with a large Shivan temple, and uh, Pandya king constructed Madhuri Meenachiyamman temple with the help of Nayakar, Madhuri Nayakar Mahal Golden Palace in 1545, Chettinadu houses in Karakudi, in Chennai great buildings constructed following Sarasenic architecture, combined techniques of Islamic, Mughal and Hindu construction, uh, unified, mixed up and fusion technology made by Britishers, Chennai Museum, Chennai Railway Station, Chepak Palace and other buildings. Unit 2, Part 2, Temple Constructions. Kattidakkalai, that is construction art, is a prominent feature in Tamil architecture. Denoting the elevated platform or base of a temple that stands above the ground level, a 7th century witnessed the rise of temple construction using stones and bricks. Notably, the Mahabalipuram or Mamallapuram Kadrakkarai Kovil, that is beach temple, is the most important construction that has been recognized. That has been recognized as UNESCO's heritage site tourist center. During the Pallava dynasty, the King Narasimha Mamallan, while going for a hunt in the forest saw a magnificent elephant carved into a rock. Inspired by this site, inspired by this site, Mamallan decided to build temples resembling the elephants as a tribute to his father. The iconic shore temple, Radha's chariot shaped shrines, the rocket sculptures are celebrated for their exceptional artistic and innovative architectural features. They are masterpieces of the ancient builders. The next one, Panja Pandavar Radhangal, Pancharadas, temples for Pandavas, the great heroes of epic Mahabharata. Pancharadas are the temples for five great characters of the greatest epic Mahabharata. Each temple represents the greatness of Dharman, Bhiman, Arjunan, Nagulan and Sagadevan. These literary masterpieces have endured over thousands of years. They sing the glory of the Pallava king. We could see a 43 feet high statue of Arjuna, the most handsome young princess who was talented in archery, depicting Arjuna's penance, Arjunan Davasu, which will mesmerize everyone. This panel, this construction narrate the story of Arjuna, 
the valiant warrior of Mahabharata involved in a strong dhyanam tabas to get or obtain the most powerful weapon Pasubastra from Lord Shiva. It shows his relentless pursuit of strength and his dedication and determination. Another section depicts the story of the king Bhagiradhan, Bhagiradhan who put a lot of efforts to bring the sacred river Ganges from the heaven down to earth. His heroic endeavor with a great determination, dedication and devotion brought the divine, divine Ganges water to the world. In India we are enjoying the river Ganga. And then third one, Chola temples. The great temples of Cholas are located in Tamil Nadu. Tanjur Pragadiswara Sivan temple with huge Nandi were constructed by Raja Raja Solan. Tanjur temple stands tall at a height of 216 feet. In the 10th century, temples were constructed on a grand scale. The temple stands as an example for Dravidian architectural tradition. The biggest Sivalingam and Nandi statue attract the tourists all over the world. The main deity, the Sivalingam, reaches a towering height of 3 meters. Adorning the upper portion of temple walls, one can see dancing sculptures capturing 108 Bharatanatyam poses. The circumference of the uh, Karuvarai, the main shrine room of Lord Shiva, both in width and length, is 48 footsteps and 72 footsteps. Uh, very big main shrine room for Lord Shiva. Then Rajendra Sola constructed Gangaigonda Solapuram, Shiva temple in Ariyalur to celebrate his victory over the North India Ganges River. Rajendra Solan relocated his cap capital city from Tanjur to the new city Gangaigonda Solapuram. Because of that, that area also developed. A big Shivan temple was built in 1036 AD. The other uh, temple, Lord Tejeswara Temple near Kumbakonam is also a pride of uh, Cholas. So many great temples were constructed. These great temples are famous for cult sculpture, decorative paintings and bronze idols. The Rajagambira Mandapam with many stones, many pillars and big statues of horses and elephants sing the glory of artistic skills. Another one, Madurai Meenachiyamman Temple, Madurai, constructed by Pandya kings, stands as a glorious testament of their legacy and a focal point of their grandeur. In ancient times, Lord Shiva appeared in the dream of Gulasegara Pandyan, asking him to name Madurai as Kadambavanam and to establish a divine presence of Parasakti in the city. The central city uh, in the central city, Meenakshi is adorned with a remarkable green uh, emerald crown. Meenakshi Amman came and stayed there. So, Meenakshi is called Maragadavalli. The temple stretches 45 acres, that is 1,80,000 square meters. Inside the temple, Ayaram Kal Mandapam, Thousand Pillar Hall, is an exquisite construction that is awesome that presents a visual treat. A special musical pillars that produces musical notes, Sabda Swaram, sings the glory of their craftsmanship. Another important architectural wonder in Madurai is Tirumalai Nayakar Mahal that was built in 17th century. With the huge pillars, this golden palace was constructed with the support of Italian architects. This palace is divided into two main sections, namely Swargavilasam and Rangavilasam. The dance hall is the central place of the palace. Here, dance performances are held daily. Then another one, Chettinadu houses. Chettinadu is a place in Karaikudi near Sivagangai district. It has 96 villages. The people who live here belong to Nartukotai Chettiar community. In the 18th, 19th and 20th centuries, these rich merchants built numerous great grand mansions with the support of Canadian architects. These houses boosted the 
ornate pillars in a vibrant array of colors that stand as a testament to the remarkable remarkable architectural skills of the time the chettiar community utilized the teak wood from the burma transported from nagapattinam by ships to build the multiple towers of the houses in various colors people used to visit and see the rainbow colony like colorful buildings the last one indo saracenic architecture in chennai during british period the most prominent buildings of chennai stand out as a showcase testimony of the city's architectural grandeur during the british period indo saracenic architectural new style was undertaken this is a special fusion connected style connecting islamic mogal and hindu temple architectural styles henry irwin henry irwin a british architect designed the chennai high court building which is considered a prominent landmark in indo saracenic architecture it is a wonderful new architectural technique government museum complex university of chennai chepak palace victoria public hall and central railway station were constructed in a grand style using this indo saracenic architecture this fusion style employed red and yellow bricks and indo islamic arches showcasing a harmonious integration of different cultural influences okay children that is the end of unit 2